Welcome back. 741 is your time. It's the time of year when people start getting sick. The CDC in any given year between 5 and 20 percent of Americans, they say, will catch the flu. And then there are fall allergies and seasonal depression. So how in the world can we stay healthy? <laughs> the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here to talk about all of this. Beth, first of all, good morning to good you. Morning. And let's start with the seasonal flu because last year was a rough one. Yeah, it was a really rough flu season last year, long and severe. The CDC says this was actually the first season last Last year to be classified as a high severity season across all age groups. High numbers of people were going to the doctor, to the ER with flu like illness, hospitalizations went up, and the season seemed to drag on and on for an extended period. And we don't know how this upcoming flu season will play out, but we do have some time to make sure that we're ready. It may not feel much like fall, but Center Spring MD's Dr. Taz Badia says cold and flu season is right around the corner. This is a season where so many people get sick, and we really want to do things to make sure your immune system is primed. Start by getting the flu vaccine. This year, there's the flu shot, the high dose vaccine for people 65 and older, and the flu mist nasal spray is back. And you want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself, getting enough sleep, and exercising most days. Dr. Taz also recommends cutting back on on sugar and loading up instead on healthy fats, protein, and fruits and vegetables, which are high in immune boosting antioxidants. And if you do get sick, there are medication options, everything from anti flu medications to antihistamines, decongestants that just help you to feel better. Fall also means ragweed season, which can kick up your allergies. So an over the counter antihistamine can help, or there are natural antihistamines that you can try. These are things like quercetin or bromelain. Lane. They're found in foods like apples and pineapples, and paying attention to your gut health seems to make a difference. This is where really paying attention to foods that may not suit your digestive system well or taking probiotics can be helpful. And as the days get shorter and we have less sunshine, some people suffer from a form of depression known as seasonal affective disorder. Or you may sleep more, you may have less motivation to get through your day, you may want to eat more. These are all signs that you may have seasonal affective disorder. So, again, so many great options. Get out there, get some exercise, really develop some habits that you love and can look forward to so you keep that motivation up. Remember to think about supplementing with vitamin D heavy foods like salmon or nuts or even fortified dairy. And Dr. Taz mentioned that vitamin D, and that's because people with seasonal depression tend to have lower levels of vitamin D, which plays a role in mood. So if you think you may have SAD, talk to your doctor because there are things that can help, like medication or light therapy or even talk therapy. But there are a lot of things out there. You may want to get your vitamin D levels checked. Yeah, sometimes it's so hard just to get off the couch and get out there and do something, but you're yeah. almost always so glad you did when oh, yeah. you get out and enjoy some of that weather. Yeah. Now, the question I have is, is seasonal depression more common in some people than others? So it's four times more common in women. It's actually more common in younger adults than other age groups, and it's common in people who have a family history mm -hmm. of seasonal depression, or they have a family history of depression in general, or a personal history of depression. So all of those things can, can play a role. And is this typically the time of the year when, I don't know, when the sadness kind of kicks in for people? It is. Uh, a lot of people experience it's kind of a little bit of an increase in depression as we head into the fall and the days get shorter mm -hmm. and then it kind of eases as we head into the springtime but the winter can be tough if you have this and it is a real thing a lot of people yeah. sometimes I think wonder is this a thing it is a thing um, and it is a classified as a type of depression yeah, the days may be shorter but they feel so much nicer once that fall weather hits so it's a great time to get outside especially that. in Atlanta yeah all right Beth thank you Thanks, hey